Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I am looking a little bit tired because I don't have any under eye concealer on, but that is for very good reason. Today I am going to be reviewing the brand new YSL Touche Eclat High Cover Concealer. Now about 30 years ago, YSL brought out a revolutionary product. Nobody had ever seen anything like it before. It was a beautiful under eye brightener. Wasn't really a concealer, but it just highlighted and brightened and was just so illuminating and so beautiful and so moisturizing on the skin as well. It was just absolutely stunning. They were seriously, seriously ahead of their game. 30 years later, because their Touche Clat original wasn't really a concealer, and they're recognizing that a lot of people want a more full coverage concealer underneath that eye area, they have brought out one that basically fuses a concealer and the Touche Clat eye brightness. So today's review is not going to be a first impressions. I've actually had this in my possession for around about six days and as well as trialing it out in store to make sure that I got the perfect color match for me. I've also tested this out over the weekend to see whether, well, I actually like it, whether it's any good. So let's just do a little bit of bump on this product before I get some underneath my eyes. So this is the brand new YSL Touche Clat High Cover Radiant Concealer. This is £26 in the UK, $35 in the US. It comes in 15 different shades and I've gone for the shade 0.75 which is sugar and it closely matches my natural skin colour so it's not too brightening underneath the eye. So if I choose to wear no makeup during the day but I just want to cover up those dark circles, this will be absolutely perfect, blend in really nicely and not look too brightening and too fake underneath that eye area. This is a radiant high coverage concealer. It's got calendula extract in there as well as caffeine which will reduce the dark circles over time. And it's also got vitamin E in there which is really, really nourishing and hydrating underneath the eye. YSL say that this is also supposed to minimize the appearance of pores and fine lines. It's supposed to even out skin tone. Supposed to be really long wearing and really long lasting and it's supposed to be full coverage. Full coverage. So let's get some of this on. So this is beautiful packaging, gold with the black label, just the right amount of luxury when you're spending that amount of money. You wouldn't expect anything less from YSL. So when you take the cap off, you'll notice that it's exactly the same as the original Touche Clat brush that you get. It's also got exactly the same button on the bottom which you press to release the product throughout the brush. So you're supposed to apply this directly underneath the eye, you know how I feel about that, but I am gonna try it out just for the purposes of this video, but I'm gonna apply it really, really sparingly. On this side, we're gonna apply it to a bare under eye, and on this side, I'm gonna show you what it's like using a color corrector first. So let's just apply a little bit. So I've just applied three dots. So as you can see, that has brightened the under eye a lot and I do have a huge bright light in front of me which will make this look very reflective. So it will make this look a lot paler than it looks in natural lighting. Let me show you what this looks like in natural lighting. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the eye that I've just applied the concealer to. We are now in natural lighting. This looks extremely natural. This is no way high coverage. This has never been high coverage. This is such a weak coverage. You wouldn't really realize that I had any on. I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna be up and down like a yo-yo, by the way. I'm gonna go back upstairs. I'm gonna apply a little bit more to see whether we can build up the coverage because this eye at the moment has nothing on it whatsoever. So this eye is the one with the product on and it's not masses of difference. It's a really natural coverage. At the moment, my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer, which is very, very similar price point to this one, is far, far superior than this one. Let me go back upstairs and try and build this up a little bit more. Okay, so I'm back. I'm slightly out of breath. I really, really do need to increase my fitness levels this year. 
it's not good. I literally just run up the stairs and I'm like, <gasps> So firstly, let's just build this side up a little bit. By the way, this has already started to crease. So this is going to be one of those products that you are going to have to set in place, which is really disappointing considering that I hardly put any product underneath my eye at all. And it's been on for practically five minutes max. already started to crease. So let's just see if we can build it up. I'm only gonna put two dots on there. Let's just build up this coverage. I'm just gonna put it where I need it. I'm not gonna put it all underneath the eye on this time round. Okay, so I have managed to build that up using a little bit more product. It looks really beautiful, it looks really natural, but it's still definitely not high coverage. In natural lighting, this doesn't look as nice as it does on camera, but it's still a really, really beautiful product. Really natural, lovely, lovely product, but I'm gonna have to set this in place. So to set this in place, I am gonna use my RCMA no color powder just take a tiny bit of that on a brush make my funny face it's got to be done let's just smooth it out hmm. so now i've set that in place and i've made the surface a lot more matte rather than an illuminating finish which is what i prefer i wish i didn't have to set this in place but over the weekend it creased like mad so i know this needs setting in place which is a real shame because i did like that illuminating finish that it gave before it was set in place now it's a lot more matte still a really beautiful finish just not as nice as it was before i set it in place so on this side we're going to put a color corrector which my favorite one is the MAC Prep and Prime in Bright Forecast. So let's just dot a tiny bit of that on. Just over the dark circle, I'm not applying this all under the, all under the eye, just where I need it. So this is the eye that I've had the MAC Prep and Prime on, which is a fraction of the cost. And this is the YSL, which is 26 pounds or $35. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Touche Clat High Cover Concealer over the top of the MAC Prep and Prime to see whether it actually makes a difference. So again, a very little amount of product because I don't want this to crease or look cakey throughout the day. Okay, so tell me I am completely wrong if you feel like I'm speaking rubbish, but in my opinion, I believe the side with one layer of MAC Prep and Prime on and one layer of the Touche Clat has covered up the dark circle far better than the side with just two layers of this supposedly high cover concealer on. I mean, what do you think? Let me show you this in natural lighting. Okay, so we're back in natural lighting. Um, this is the side with the two lots of the Touche Clat High Cover, and this is the side with one lot of Touche Clat High Cover and one lot of MAC Prep and Prime. Now, obviously, if you're going to be using it this way, this is a very expensive way of doing it, but I do feel like you get better results using a color corrector underneath this particular concealer because it is not high coverage, but it's beautiful. Let me just zoom you in so that you can see what my under eyes actually look like really close up. Okay, so as you can see, this is the side with two lots of the Touche Clat High Cover on. It just looks so lovely. Not a crease in sight. Oh, you can see a couple of my fine lines, but it's not gone creasy in there, but I have set this in place and it would have gone creasy had I not set this in place. I've tried this so many times over the weekend and it creased every single time, but it does look absolutely stunning. It definitely feels like a high-end concealer, completely weightless. 
really natural looking very very beautiful now on this side this is the side that i put the mac prep and prime as well as the high cover by ysl touch clap so much better coverage the under eye circle looks a lot more diffused it's still there because it's not high coverage but it looks a lot better this side looks a lot brighter than this side and there's a lot more product on this side than there is on this side so i do believe that this concealer performs better with a color corrector underneath it if you've got anything to hide if you are lucky and you don't have under eye circles then this concealer may be perfect for you i am not one of those people anyway let's go back upstairs and let's wrap this up okay so i've just run upstairs again and i've had a really good close look in the mirror and unfortunately even though this product has only been on for around about 10 15 minutes and i have set both sides in place granted with a very small amount of powder but that's how i set all my concealers both sides have been set in place and both sides have started to crease very close to my lower lash line in my fine lines which is so frustrating for me this happened yesterday i went to my son's football game and i set this in place and by the time i got back from the football game this had been on for around about two hours it was so creased underneath my eye it made the wrinkles look far deeper than they actually are because i don't have a mass of wrinkles underneath my eye so unfortunately if you have fine lines underneath your eyes if you have like me like my under eye moves all the time when i'm talking this is going to crease okay so we've talked about the fact that this is not a high coverage concealer even though it says it's high coverage concealer this is probably a light medium coverage at best we've also talked about the fact that this is creasy underneath the eye no matter whether you set it in place or how much product you use this is going to crease underneath the eye throughout the day or at least it has done for me that is my personal experience now let's move on to cost because this is where it becomes interesting now i've already mentioned the charlotte tilbury magic away concealer during this review because it's a pretty similar product even though i feel like this one's more of a stretchy formula and doesn't crease as much throughout the day i also don't have to set this one in place i might have to just go like this once in the day but it pretty much stays perfect all day and it doesn't need setting in place this is also not a high coverage concealer which charlotte does say this is high coverage i completely disagree i think this is a medium coverage concealer but it's very very beautiful all the same now when i first bought this product you get four mils of product for 24 pounds or 32 dollars in the us which i also thought was pretty pricey for the amount of product that you get so in comparison to the magic away concealer this is already more expensive at 26 pounds or 35 dollars but you're actually getting just over half the amount of product that you actually get in the magic away concealer and on average every other high-end concealer usually has at least six mils in there so you get four mils in this one it is pricey you're only getting two and a half mils in this in comparison with all the other products the actual products in here although it's only costing you 26 pounds or 35 dollars if you are getting the same amount of product as most other high-end products have this is actually costing you 52 pounds or 70 dollars and it's actually there's no way it's worth that amount of money in my opinion hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do give it a big thumbs up don't forget i'm also on instagram as well if you want to have a look at some makeup videos that do not appear on youtube do follow me on there as well it's at pampered wolf all lowercase no spaces so make sure you're following me on there as well don't forget to also subscribe to my channel before you leave there is a watermark in this corner if you click on it it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe hope to see you all again soon bye